Good morning. As you can see right here over my shoulder, I have 10 foot drop tarps with flaps. And I did a lot of things wrong. So if you wanna know how not to do what I did, stick around. Okay, so let's start here in the front. And as you can see, I've got my tarp pulled way too far forward. And even though it has a flap on it, it's so far forward that everything, it's kind of jacked up here in the front. Now, does it still work? Yeah, sure. But it's not gonna keep the maximum amount of air out of the tarps while you're rolling down the road. So what happened was these tarps were put on, I had help by an overhead crane. And when you're using an overhead crane, the easiest way to avoid this is to err on the side. Let me explain. It's, it's difficult to explain. When you're putting those tarps over the product, you want that tarp pushed this way towards the rear or towards the product. So it'd be the opposite in the back. When you, that way, whenever you go to pull these tarps to kind of fix them, it's much easier to pull this tarp forward than it's gonna to be to try to drag it across the product. So I should have had these tarps considerably farther forward. That way, whenever I went to fix them, all I had to do was just pull it maybe a foot or two forward and that would have been way, way easier. Instead, and I wasn't thinking whenever I was putting these on, I had, the, I had the tarps way too far forward and so there's a lot of excess. These things are, are hanging way off. In order to use flaps correctly, you maybe want them anywhere between six inches and 12 inches, the flap hanging forward over that product right here. So it'd be six to 12 inches hanging forward. And that's gonna give you the correct placement. That's gonna have the maximum usage for those flaps. You'll be able to tie the insides together and then pull the flaps down, and that's gonna restrict that airflow from coming through. Instead, what I did, you have a lot of excess on the, you know, hanging forward. You've got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of excess here, and there's a lot of different spots where air can get through. Now, thankfully for me, I have a step deck, so it's not gonna affect me as much, uh, but if you're a flatbed, you definitely wanna pay very close attention to this. Moving on. Now this one's gonna be really, really simple, but I'm gonna expand on this one just a little bit. When you're using hooks that are on the inside, so underneath this is the front of my middle tarp. Now, whenever I was setting up my tarps, I always set a uh, bungee on the corners. Now unfortunately in this case right here, as you can see, I damaged my brand new tarps. And that's because I put that hook facing outward. Now. You wanna do everything that you can to avoid that hook facing outward unless you're gonna damage the product. You can't do this on something like, let's say, insulation. But in this case, I just have crates under here. So the rest of my hooks are facing inward so that way that point doesn't do exactly this. And not only did I screw up the tarp, which I'll be able to patch, no problem, but I also screwed up this strap. So I'm gonna lose a strap as well. That's costly and that's a careless error on my part. So. If you can have those hooks facing inward, do so. Now, the way I'm gonna expand on this is, and I had this happen to me going down the road. When you have 10 or even eight foot drops, I mean, look how tall that is. That's pretty tall. And let's say you only have straps, you have a couple straps down here on the bottom that are pulling that tarp forward. Well, you have a lot of space in between the top of that bungee that's securing it going all the way upward and where I messed up here is I didn't have any kind of securement or anything holding the top of this back tarp forward so because of the airflow that you're naturally gonna get running through your tarps which is nearly unavoidable this the back of this or the top of this front tarp here actually blew forward and luckily I saw it immediately and was able, there was a truck stop right there, so I was able to pull in and fix it. And that took me about 45 minutes, which sucked. So, there's two ways that you can kind of avoid this. And one of them, see I'm blocking it. You can see that strap. That strap going over the top 
is actually cinching this tarp here onto this tarp here. So that's one way that you can do it, but in some cases you can't always do that. And here is a, a good thing that you can use. You can either put two bungees together and try to get the top grommet that you can on let's say this, this back tarp here. You wanna to try to get as much pressure high up as you can pulling down and forward on that tarp. So you can either put two bungees together, which by the way, you're gonna to need to secure those bungees somehow by some tape or something. You're gonna to need to protect those so that way they don't damage your tarps because the bungees are gonna bounce back and forward and they're gonna rub and they're gonna cause what you just saw up front. Uh, or there's a thing called bungee rope. Bungee rope is amazing and the military uses it a lot. I haven't, I have some, but I haven't used it yet. Uh, I wanted to use it on this load, but you know, the guys were leaving, they wanted me out, so I had to do it kind of quickly. But you want to secure as high up as you can and put some pressure forward on all the tarps that are underneath. So I have three tarps, so I would want to do it on this back one, and I would want to do it on this middle one where it's underneath up here. And we moved a little bit, and as you can see up here, I've also got bungees that kind of sew this front bungee to this, or the, excuse me, this front tarp to this back tarp or middle tarp. And you wanna do this on each tarp that you have that's overlapping. So you can see it right here, I did it as well. And if you can, you wanna do it down here near the bottom. Let's see if I can see that in frame. Down here near the bottom, as well as up here in the middle. And that's gonna also help keep those tarps from doing what we just talked about. And just to show you real quick, back here in the back, I did a much better job of lining up this tarp. It's still a little bit further back than what I would like it to be, but you know, it's a brand new tarp, but I'm still trying to learn it. But as you, you, know, you can see that it's in much better shape back here. It looks a lot cleaner, it looks a lot nicer. And if I had the same amount of excess up in the front as I do back here in the back, the front would look a lot cleaner as well but stuff happens right so while we're back here in the back you can see that I have vent holes and you can't do this on all loads but try to do it on as much as you can looking at this from the side this product is still protected um, you know as you're driving down the road all of the rain and road grime and stuff like that is going to be blown by by the air so Really, even this corner here is well protected even though it is a little bit exposed. In the cases where you have steel or coils or you know stuff that cannot have anything on it, what you can do is you could even have another bungee right here on this corner. Let's if I show it. You can have another bungee right here on this corner pulling it down a little more and then you just have your excess back here pulled back like this where there's airflow coming out from there as well and that's going to this these vent holes what they're going to do is see air is going to follow the path of least resistance and if there's a nice size vent hole back here or vent holes then it's going to keep your keep your tarps from ballooning as much and it's going to have the airflow go right through which is going to increase your miles per gallon and it's going to keep your tarps from uh flapping its wings as it's going down the road. And just to talk about it really quickly, you know, these tarps were provided by Lookout Mountain Tarp. And they're not paying me to say anything, but they did give me the tarps. They wanted me to give a good evaluation. And this is the first time that I've had the full set for the well out. And I can't, I have to say, I cannot be more pleased. Um, it was very, very easy to use these tarps as they're much lighter. Each one of the sections down here on the bottom is 16 foot long, which means that the back two tarps can be turned sideways, can be used as four footers. I love that. All I have to carry are four tarps and I can tarp anything. And they're nice, they're high quality. I could tell by the amount of pressure that I was putting on those D rings, I, I, was, I was really laying into it and there was, I never at any point thought that those D-rings were gonna pop out. So if you're looking for a high quality set of tarps, I've got 
down in the description down below is a link to their website go check them out look out mountain tarps um, they they custom make tarps they've got tarps that are already pre-made uh, but i highly recommend getting with those guys because they really know what they're doing they're going to give you a high quality set of tarps it's going to last you a long time as long as you take care of them as long as you don't do what i'm doing on this load life happens right so avoid the mistakes that i made if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell i'm gonna have videos coming out every monday wednesday and friday maybe the occasional bonus video in between my arms are getting tired so we're gonna sh cut this short uh, as always don't forget though stay driven set <laughs> Uh, Warner's Opti Idol just kicked off. Let's start this over.